Most of us know someone who said they've never had COVID. The CDC thinks the virus has infected 70% of the U.S. population. But because so many cases are asymptomatic, those numbers could be higher. Why don't some people get COVID? Good question. Heather Brown looked into some of the working theories. Have you had COVID? Yes, I got COVID and it's heated as well. I couldn't taste the great food that we had for Thanksgiving. It was my friend's birthday party. Runny nose, headache, fatigue. I've had it twice, actually. You've had it twice? Every so often. No, I never have. Never have? No. Nope. You run across. Oh, there's a term for it. A Novid. I have not. You have not? No. But I had it. This is one of the mysteries I cannot figure out. We don't know how many people really have never had COVID. Right. Right. We don't know. Dr. Jill Foster is a pediatric infectious disease specialist at the U of M Medical School. Do you think they actually probably did? I think most of them probably have, yes. She says the Novid group falls into four categories. So, Sally, what makes Greg so special? <laughs> <laughs> He's a pretty special guy. Maybe that's just it. Well, again, I mean, maybe there's something genetic. Uh, maybe there is just um, some immunity that I built up, and maybe I've had it. Yeah. Right. Number one, genes, the smallest group. Oh, that's probably 1%. People who were born with an immunity to the virus. Give me some of that. I would like that. <laughs> where something in their body prevents COVID from taking hold. But nobody should count that they're in that group. <laughs> Number two, previous immunity from some other kind of coronavirus. There are some other coronaviruses that give the common cold that some people will have kind of leftover antibody for that, and it will give them some protection, um, but it's probably not gonna give them total protection. But you know, everybody's immune system is different. And we just haven't figured this all out quite yet. No, no. Number three, and most likely, they did have an asymptomatic case. In those cases, just like the little at-home test, it makes you wonder, like, I don't know, I guess how, how accurate they are. And number four, They've just been super careful. I've been pretty vigilant about getting the boosters and the vaccine. But I did the same thing. Down the road, there could be steps we learn from these people. Yes. How long are we talking about? Oh, that usually means years. I feel like the more we go on, the more questions there are. We probably will never know what it is. It's going to be an interesting Heather Brown. scientific case study. WCCO 4 News. If you're curious, there is an antibody test that you can take to see if you've ever had COVID. But Dr. Foster says they're not always reliable. If you have a good question for Heather, just email her through WCCO.com links.